Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to the 1-8 stage of the National Championship of the 2022 National Science and Math Quiz. Competing in this 14th contest are Odan Senior High School. St. Francis Xavier Senior High School. And Apam, Apam Senior High School. Let's meet the contestants. Oda Senior High School is represented by Eim Ankuma Bright Kwache. Pepra Uso Elisha. Oda Senior High School is a seeded school. Tell us about your experience this year for the NSMQ. Um, it's quite well. Mm, we are just hoping to win this contest okay. and to maintain our seed. Okay. Best <laughs> wishes to you. St. Francis Xavier Senior High School is represented by Lugutua Morrison. Elias Nazia. Okay. How about you, St. Francis Xavier? How's your journey, your experience? Our experience was quite good, but our main purpose today is just to win. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. <laughs> Best wishes to you as well. Apam Senior High School is represented by Samuel Kwesio Numata. Steven Boachiado. Okay. Tell us about your experience in this year's NSMQ. Well, it's been nice. Like every contest has been keenly contested. So we are here for a student sport. Okay. Best wishes to you as well. The National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with APSA Bank and supported by Joy News, Goyle, Prudential Life Insurance, Airtel Tigo, GNPC, Dano Milk, Newmont Ghana, Puma Drinks, Academic City University College, Accra College of Medicine, Studio HD, and YFM. My name is Thelma Ohinye J of the School of Pharmacy, University of Ghana, Lagon, and I'm your quiz mistress. This is a prime time production. To the rules of this contest, we'll have this contest in five rounds. In round one, where we begin, if a question comes to your school, it is worth three points if you give me a correct answer. If your answer is incorrect, another school can ring for that question as a bonus question. If they answer correctly, they would have one point. If the answer is incorrect, minus one from the marks they've accrued. If a question involves calculations, you have 30 seconds to answer. If there are no calculations, I'll take your answer in 10 seconds in one attempt. In this round, I'll begin with Odan Senior High School. A preamble to all the schools. Evaluate. Evaluate. Odar Senior High School. Sign 12 degrees, course 18 degrees. Plus, course 12 degrees, sign 18 degrees. So there's an expression. Over the expression, course 37 degrees, course 23 degrees, minus sign 37 degrees, sign 23 degrees. So the expression sign 12 degrees, course 18 degrees. Plus, course 12 degrees, sign 18 degrees. Over. Cost 37 degrees, cost 23 degrees, minus sign 37 degrees, sign 23 degrees. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, bright. Brute three. No. A bonus or a palm? One. Yes, that's correct. St. Francis Xavier. The expression cos 38 degrees, cos 22 degrees, minus sine 38 degrees, sine 22 degrees over the expression cos 67 degrees, cos 22 degrees, plus sine 67 degrees, sine 22 degrees. Yes, Morrison. Root two on two. That's correct. <laughs> Apam Senior High School. Two sine 30 degrees cos 30 degrees over the expression cos 28 degrees cos 32 degrees minus sine 28 degrees sine 32 degrees. Yes, Stephen. Root three. That is correct. Order SHS. An object is placed 28 centimeters in front of a thin biconvex lens of focal length 21 centimeters. Find the distance between the image and the lens and state whether it is in front of or behind the lens. The uh, distance is 84 centimeters and it's in front. Two out of three. <laughs> St. Francis Xavier. An object is placed 72 centimeters in front of a thin biconvex lens of focal length 24 centimeters. Find the distance between the image and the lens and state whether it is in front of or behind the lens. Yes, Morrison. Yeah, 12 centimeters and it is in front. No. Yes, a bonus to order. 36 centimeters, and it is behind. That is correct. <laughs> Apam Senior High School. An object is placed 14 centimeters in front of a thin biconvex lens of focal length 21 centimeters. Find the distance between the image and the lens and state whether it is in front of or behind the lens. Samuel, yes. I told you what. Forty two centimeters, and it is in front of the mirror. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> So, Oda, I'm sure you know why I gave you partial mark. So, it's 84 centimeters behind. Okay. A preamble. Describe the types, the following types of chromosomes with respect to the ascentral male. Describe the type of chromosome with respect to the ascentral male. Oda, polycentric chromosomes. Polycentric chromosomes. Polycentric chromosomes are chromosomes which have 
multiple number of centromere centromeres. That is correct. St. Francis Xavier, eccentric chromosomes, eccentric chromosomes. Yes, Elias. Eccentric chromosomes are chromosomes in which do not have a point of attachment. That's a centrome. That is correct. <laughs> Apam, senior high school. Telocentric chromosome. Telocentric. Yes, Samuel. Telocentric. Telecentric chromosome is a chromosome which have the centromere uh, in the middle. No. Oda. Telecentric chromosome is a chromosome which has its centromere position closer to the end of the chromosome. That is <laughs> so the centromere is at the end. Okay. Pick a preamble. Pick the odd one out and give a reason for your choice. Pick the odd one out and give a reason for your choice. Oda, chlorine, bromine, nitrogen, neon. Elisha. Neon. This is because um, chlorine, bromine, and nitrogen are all diatomic, whereas neon is monatomic. No. A bonus. Okay. St. Francis Xavier, silicon. Phosphorus, arsenic, germanium. Yes, Morrison. We have phosphorus, and this is because the rest are metalloids. Phosphorus is not a metalloid. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> Apam, titanium, nickel, gallium, indium. Yes, Stephen. It is indium. This is because titanium, nickel, and gallium are all, all belong to the same period in the periodic table. I'll give you two out of three. Okay, so, yeah, you have to be specific. They are all in period four. And then indium is in period five. And also Oda, it's because it's bromine, because it's liquid at room temperature and all the rest are gases. Oda SHS, if f of x plus three equals three x minus one, evaluate f of negative two. Yes. Negative 16. That's correct. St. <laughs> Francis Xavier, given that f of x plus 2 equals 3 minus 2x, evaluate f of 1. Yes. 5. Yes, that's correct. A palm. Given that f of 3 minus x equals 2x plus 1, evaluate f of negative 2. Stephen. 
11. That is correct. Order SHS. The net force acting on an object is 8i plus 6j newtons. And the velocity of the object is 5i meters per second. Find the power developed by the net force acting on the object. Yes, bright. So the power is six J Newtons. No. Okay. A bonus to Saint Francis Xavier. We have forty watts. That's correct. Saint Francis Xavier. Find the power developed by the force, 3i plus 4j newtons, when its point of application moves with velocity, 5i minus 3j meters per second. Okay. Yes, Elias. Three watts. Yes, that's correct. A pump. A pump. Find the power developed by the force, 6i minus 8j newtons, when the velocity of its point of application is 4i plus 3j meters per second. Yes, Samuel. Zero watts. That's correct. Order SHS. What are benthos organisms? B E N T H O S. Benthos organisms. Yes. Okay. Benthos organisms are marine organisms which thrive in the benthic zone of the ocean. What is the benthic zone? And the, the benthic zone is a zone of the ocean where benthos organisms dwell. <laughs> where what the water the water is about more than 200 meters deep. Two out of three. <laughs> St. Francis Xavier, what is the primary source of sustenance of benthos organisms in the sea? We have seaweeds. Hmm. One out of three. <laughs> A palm. Benthos organisms are of two, ty two types. Name any one of them. Yes, Samuel. Zooplankton. No. <laughs> A bonus. Okay. So I gave you um, two out of three because so I wanted you to. I wanted to be sure you need the benthic zone. Not here, just no using semantics or me. So the benthic zone is the bottom in the bottom or near the bottom of the water. So when you mentioned benthic zone and deep, I gave you two out of three. And St. Francis Xavier. So it's not just sea, we just gave an example. The answer is because light cannot reach the bottom of the sea, organic materials. So it's broader than just sea. We don't go to the seabed at the primary source. And a palm. 
macrobenthos or meiobenthos? Any one of these was the answer I was expecting. Okay. This is a preamble. They need 30 seconds for this question. An organic compound has the molecular formula C5H12O. Give the systematic name of one branched alcohol that can be formed from this compound. An organic compound has the molecular formula C5H12O. Give the systematic name of one branched alcohol that can be formed from this compound. Order. Two butanol. No. A bonus. Okay, St. Francis Xavier. Yes, Elias. We have two metal, three butanol. Re repeat that. Repeat the answer. We have three metal, two butanol. No. A bonus, Apam, if you have to, and I'm not allowing that because that's not what you said. Apam, I'm sorry. A bonus, a bonus. If anybody has another answer. Okay, yes, Apam, yo. Yes. Two metal, two butanol. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So I said branched alcohol, and you said two butanol. Hmm? So the answers are 2-methyl-1-butanol, 2-methyl-2-butanol, 3-methyl-1-butanol, 3-methyl-2-butanol, and then 2-2-dimethyl-1-propanol. That brings us to the end of round one. Now and again, Goyle makes good things happen. This time, Goyle has introduced Super XP Run 95, a higher grade fuel loaded with additives and yet sold at the same price as normal fuel. Goyle Super XP Run 95 enhances engine performance like never before. It maintains the engine by keeping it clean from carbon deposits. Goyle Super XP Run 95 is designed to burn slowly and thus improves fuel economy, making you save money after several kilometers. Goal Super XP Run 95 gives you a smooth driving experience that is less vibrations. Fill up with Goal Super XP Run 95. Now there's no need to pay more for any higher grade fuel. Goil has that sorted. Goil, good energy. Tap into the convenience of APSA contactless cards, another innovation that's turning banking on its head. Now, you can make fast, easy and safe contactless payments for everyday items. That's Africanacity. That's APSA.
Awurade your humble servant kwa kwa do maba. Na tight no so kra nti me hu twa. Aso ya nti me. Ma 277. O si emisa na de be maye. Papa, to go me so. 2020 was a very tough year. 2021 there mafia. First me talk about gari kitwe bi. Se se de concrete and kasa and me di go me yam. Papa, me nim system ni mu aye den. Has me nim so wo de betimi aye me kama kama. Aja me ampa me de me yam ato. Show me a miracle. Eba, to come so. It's showering cash with a grand price of 100,000 Ghana cities in the Airtel Tigo Tukumisu promo. Top up, do so much more on Airtel Tigo and end points to win lots of cash. Eba, Jimmy Bika Krankow. Dow Star 500 Hajj and recharge 5 Ghana cities to also win data and call money. Get Airtel Tigo. Airtel Tigo, you know, my year, my dear, you know. It's scary, isn't it? Putting yourself out there, facing your fears. All you need to do is keep trying and give it everything you've got because everything you need to achieve the impossible is already inside. So here's to the ones who give 100%. We celebrate you. This advert is MDR approved. Yo, Charlie, what's up? Bro, I do. It's that time of the year again, oh. I'll be, you know, we made it last year. What will be the challenge for today? Time travel is possible. Yeah. All we have to do is find E. This one day, we're gonna need more time for that. But we have the best data bundles. Yeah, yeah bro, I see, I see. Do more with Ghana's best data bundles on ATL Tigo, Big Time Data, Sika Coco, Morning Rush, and other amazing offers. Dial Star 111 Hush now. ATL Tigo, life is simple. Whatever you're doing it for, we'll help you get it done. Simply. That's Africanacity. That's APSA. Okay, I'd like to um, address a protest that has come up. So in the, I think the first set of chemistry questions, I asked the schools that I was giving them a list, they should pick the odd one out and give a reason. I gave ODA, SHS, chlorine, bromine, nitrogen, and neon. And they said neon because it's monoatomic and the rest are diatomic. I didn't accept that answer. I said bromine because the rest are gases and bromine is a liquid at tem room temperature. But because my question didn't ask that the reason should be based on their physical state, um, neon is different from the rest in the sense that it's monoatomic, so that answer I would accept. <laughs> that brings the scores at the end of round one to Oda Senior High School, 15 points. Wow. St. Francis Xavier Senior High School, 17 points. Wow. Apam Senior High School, 18 points. Wow. Round two. Round two is a speed race. 
And here, every question that is read out is open to all the schools at the same time. The first school to ring their bell and give a correct answer will earn three points. If their answer is incorrect, a second school that rings their bell can answer for two points if their answer is correct. If the second answer is incorrect, the third school, if they ring their bell and answer correctly, will earn one point. If the answer is incorrect, a penalty point of one. This applies to each incorrect answer that is given by any school. Our first question for the speed race. Name the macronutrient whose deficiency leads to premature leaf fall. Order SHS. Magnesium. No. Who rang the bell next? St. Francis Xavier. Potassium. No. Phosphorus. Phosphorus. Trypsin is related to the digestion of which macro apam? Yes. Lipids. No. Who rang the bell next? Protein. Protein. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> next time, just wait till I call you, okay, before you give the answer away. If, yes. <laughs> okay. What name is given to the process of removing seeds from cotton? Okay, so ginning, ginning. Find the length of a simple pendulum of period 1.0 seconds. 1.0 second at a location where acceleration due to gravity has magnitude 9.6 meters per second squared. Um, yes, Oda Senior High School. Yes, Oda. One. One point five. No, Saint Francis Xavier. Oh, oh were they, did they ring their bell? Who rang their bell? Okay, Saint Francis Xavier. Zero point two four meters. That's correct. A 4.5 kilogram object moving at 18 meters per second is halted by an 81 Newton average force. Find the time to halt the object. St. Francis Xavier. 1.0 seconds. That's correct. The current in a 16 millihenry inductor is 2 amperes and is changing at the rate of 2 amperes per second. Find the instantaneous rate of change of magnetic energy in the inductor. Yes, St. Francis Xavier. Yes, Morrison. 2.6 millijoules. No. <laughs> 64 millijoules per second. How many moles of an ideal gas will be needed to fill a 200 meter cube container to a pressure of 166 pascals and a temperature of 100 Kelvin? Apam. 
Yes. Um, seven. Four point zero. Mo. No. Saint Francis Xavier. F. Four point zero zero times ten exponent three moles. No. Okay, it's 10 moles. Determine the sum of the coefficients of all reactants and products in a balanced equation of the reaction O2 plus KOH plus Fe gives H2O plus KFeO2. Apam. Yes. Eight. No. Or that senior high school. Nine. No. St. Francis Xavier. Nineteen. No. It's seventeen. Seventeen. How many electrons are present in the four P orbital of titanium? Yes, or dance senior high school. Two. No. Zero. Zero. A fair coin and a fair die are thrown. Find the probability of getting a head and an odd number. Fair coin, fair die thrown. Probability of getting a head and an odd. St. Francis Xavier. One over four. That's correct. Find the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve. Y equals 2x over the expression x plus 1. Order. Zero, zero. No. Who ranked next? Apam. There is no stationary point. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Solve for x from the equation. Log to the base 3 of the expression. Log to the base 2 of x equals minus 1. St. Francis Xavier. 1 on 8. Repeat that. One on eight. No. Anybody? Yes, a palm. Cubic root of two. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, Oda rang the bell. Yes, Oda. Cube root of three. No. A palm, do you want to answer now? Did they ring that palm? Did you ring your bell? You didn't ring your bell. <laughs> okay, so the answer is 2 to the power 1 over 3 or 2. That brings us to the end of round 2. is no longer why do we have problems, but rather how can we spin those challenges into opportunities. This is the revolutionary mindset we, students here at Academic City, are driven by. Academic City, 
We believe that the challenges of today are nothing like the opportunities of tomorrow. Hence, we're poised for the future. And so we say, come join us. Pakuli. Yasunyang. Uyai Tibatane. Zaufula Nabia. Vienu Wujwin. Brabe Kayam. Ao, Amanasat Shamil Hujau. As we lead the charge to empower the next generation of future leaders. Academic City University College, redefining university education. Make I walk you through my everyday life. Busy, busy, busy from the morning light. My to do list long, shadow fit to overlap. So sharp, sharp, turn on mobile app. School fees check, light bills check. Do I'm with speed like a G4 jet? We be at the day, I am not upset. Check, I don't even use check, city check. Join the Absa family and make fast, easy, and safe transactions with our digital products. Log on to absa.com.gh. No long thing. We like I'm simple and easy. Believe me, no long things in my life. No long like I'm simple and easy. Easy. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Gold Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 Lubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology, highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 News. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. At the end of round two, here are the scores. Wadan Senior High School, 12 points. <laughs> Apam Senior High School, 17 points. St. Francis Xavier Senior High School, 20 points. <laughs> round three is the round of the problem of the day. And this is a common problem that is presented to all the schools at the same time. The problem is worth 10 points. They have four minutes to produce a solution on the screen. At stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star. And this NSMQ star is awarded to a school that earns a perfect score of 10 points for the problem of the day. A star at this stage is worth 2,400 cities to the team. So this is something to work for, as well as your points to progress to the next round. Best wishes to all the schools. Now you can take your sheets, flip it over. Let's read the problem of the day together. The compound with molecular formula C5H10O has several isomeric compounds. Write the systemic names of nine of these, ensuring that not more than three compounds belong to the same functional group. No isomers contain a carbon-carbon double bond. Where relevant, only the more stable isomers are indicated. And from the nine you provide, indicate any one isomer that shows stereoisomerism. Okay, start work.
Stop work and take your seat. The schools have presented their solutions on the screen. And before I mention the marks that was awarded, I'll go through the problem of the day, the solution as provided by the consultant. This problem of the day was from chemistry. They were given the molecular formula of a compound, told that it has several isomers. And they were to write the systematic names of nine of the isomers. They were to ensure that not more than three belong to the same functional group. No isomers had a carbon-carbon double bond. And then where it was relevant, only the more stable isomer was to be indicated. From the nine, they were to give one isomer that shows stereoisomerism. The molecular compound of the, the molecular formula of the compound was C5H10O. So these are the compounds we're expecting. Because they were to give um, a minimum of Three, a maximum of three, so not more than three, for aldehyde or alkanal, pentanal, two methyl butanal, three methyl butanal, okay? For, either a, for a ketone or an alkanone, two pentanone, three pentanone, or three methyl two butanone. And then for a, a cycloalkanol or a cycloalcohol, cyclopentanol, one methyl cyclobutanol, 2-methylcyclobutanol or 3-methylcyclobutanol. So any of these three. 
the isomers that will show stereochemistry are two methyl butanol, one methyl cyclobutanol, and two methyl cyclobutanol. So if you listed this nine, one mark for each. And if you mentioned any of these three, that um, would give would show stereoisomerism, one mark for that to make ten. To the solutions, Oda Senior High School, they didn't get any any right, so they have zero. Apam, Apam Senior High School had two. They wrote out two correctly, so they have two points. And then St. Francis Xavier, they also wrote out two correctly, so they have two points. That brings us to the end of round three. want to make these substitutions. Oda Senior High School would like Caleb K. Yeboah to come on for Bright Eyim Ankuma. <laughs> Apam Senior High School would like Faustina Akantidia to come on for Stephen Bwachiyadom. Okay, so Caleb and Faustina, welcome. Round four. In this round, I'll make a series of statements to each school. And for each statement I make, I want the contestants to tell me whether the statement is true or false. If they answer correctly, two points. If the answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point of one. If they are bailed out, another school can take up that question for the same rules. Two points if they are correct, a penalty point of one if the answer is incorrect. In this round, once again, I'll start with Oda SHS. Oda, the control of body temperature in humans is a good example of homeostasis in a biological system. True. Yes, that's true. St. Francis Xavier, the regulation of body temperature of humans is controlled by a region in the brain called the hypothalamus. That's true. Yes, it's true. Apam. Homeostasis in, homeostasis in ecosystems is a product of the combination of biodiversity and large numbers of ecological interactions that occur between species. Yes, Faustina. False. No, it's true. Oda, a photon emitted by a carbon dioxide laser operating above threshold has a lower energy than a photon emitted by an erbium-doped fiber laser 
operating above threshold. False. No, it's true. St. Francis Xavier, the optical power of an erbium doped fiber laser can the optical power an erbium doped fiber laser can produce is greater than the optical power a diode laser can produce. A diode, D I O D E, laser can produce. Okay, true. No, it's false. A palm. A carbon dioxide laser can be used to cut various materials. Faustina. True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Oda SHS. All isotopes decay and are unaffected by temperature and pressure conditions. False. Yes, it's false. St. Francis Xavier, all radioactive decays lead to the formation of new nucleides or isotopes. Okay. It's false. Yes, it's false. A palm. The half-life of a specific radioisotope is constant, irrespective of how it's formed. Yes, Faustina. True. Yes, that is true. A preamble. The equation 2x plus 3y equals 5 is in. The equation 2x plus 3y equals 5 is in. Or the SHS slope intercept form. Yes. False. Yes, it's false. Saint Francis Xavier. Point slope form. Point slope form. False. Yes, it's false. A palm. Intercept form. Yes, Faustina. False. Yes, it is false. The equation is in the standard form. Okay. Indicate whether the following are true or false with respect to dichotomous keys. Dichotomous keys. Or die SHS, they can be used to identify an organism by its scientific name. True. Yes, it's true. St. <laughs> Francis Xavier, they can be used by anyone, even without specialized scientific knowledge. True. Yes, it's true. Apam. They can sometimes experience errors because closely related species may share many of the same characteristics. Yes, Faustina. True. Yes, that is true. <laughs> a preamble. The motion of a particle is confined to the XY plane. The motion of a particle is confined to the XY plane. Or the SHS. The motion of the particle is rectilinear. True. Repeat that. True. No, it's false. St. Francis Xavier. None of the forces acting on the particle can have a non-zero component perpendicular to the plane. False. Yes, it's false. A palm. The component perpendicular to the plane of the net force 
on the particle is zero. Faustina. True. Yes, that is true. Oda SHS. A catalyst will only alter the rate of a chemical reaction in the forward direction. False. Yes, it's false. St. Francis Xavier. Some amount of catalyst may be used up during a chemical reaction, but it will not be fully consumed. It's false. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Apam, as the concentration of a catalyst increases, the reaction occurs at a faster rate. Faustina. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> a preamble. The hexadecimal number system has base the hexadecimal number system has base, or that SHS, 60. 60, 60, 60. False. Yes, that is false. <laughs> St. Francis Xavier, 6. False. Yes, that is false. Apam Senior High School, 16. One six. Yes, Faustina. True. That is true, yes. That brings us to the end of round four. At the end of round four, here are the scores. Oda Senior High School, 22 points. <laughs> Apam Senior High School, 32 points. St. Francis Xavier Senior High School, 35 points. <laughs> round five. This is the final round of, this, of the contest. And in this round, I'm going to present to you four different riddles. I want you to solve for the riddles. I would assist you by reading out a series of clues for your benefit. At any time, if you have an answer, ring your bell. I'll stop and allow you to give your answer. If you give me a correct answer on the first clue, five points. If it's on the second clue, four points. Any clue thereafter, three points. If your answer is incorrect, you stay out of that particular riddle, and then you come back for the next one. In this riddle, we have the goal riddle bonanza. And here, goal rewards a school that is able to solve three or four riddles correctly. If you solve three riddles correctly, 
you earn 1,200 CDs from gold. And if you solve four riddles correctly, you earn 1,600 Ghana CDs. Okay? So all the best. As we go on to find who qualifies from this stage to the next, and also if anybody wins in the gold riddle bonanza. Our first riddle. Here are the clues. I am a sexual process in which two lower organisms of the same species exchange nuclear material during a temporary union. Yes, Oda Senior High School. Conjugation. That is correct. That came on the first clue. They have five points. I am a phenomenon in physics. I may occur when two objects collide. An instance of me involving photons is called Rayleigh. I, I'll spell that because I'm not R A Y L E I G H. Yes. Rayleigh criteria. No. Okay. I'll continue with that. I am, char I am characterized by conservation of a scalar dynamic quantity. I am the type of collision in which the magnitude of the coefficient of restitution is unity. St. Francis Xavier. The elastic collision. That's correct. That came on the last clue. They have three points. I am an element found in group 16 of the periodic table. I was discovered by Marie and Pierre Curie. Oda Senior High School. Colonial. That is correct. That came on the second clue. They have four points. Our last riddle. I am a three-digit palindromic number. Forward or backward, the value is the same. My first digit is a square. My other digit is a cube. I am an exact square. Oda Senior High School. 343. No. Who rang the bell next? Okay, St. Francis Xavier. Oh, sorry. Who rang the bell next? Okay, St. Francis Xavier. 848. No. Apam. Yes. Oh, you haven't rang your bell. Oh, okay. But your hand is up for Sina. Yes. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Yes, for Sina. 484. That's correct. That came on the fifth clue, so they have three points. And that ends round five.
At the end of round five, here are the scores. Oda Senior High School, 31 points. Apam Senior High School, 35 points. St. Francis Xavier Senior High School, 38 points. With that score, St. Francis Xavier Senior High School qualifies to the quarterfinal stage of the competition. Congratulations, St. Francis Xavier Senior High School. Oda Senior High School and Apam Senior High School, you gave your best. This, this is an impressive loss in any sense. So thank you. Better luck next time. We hope to see you next year with a much improved performance. To my audience, thank you for joining us for this contest. We hope to see you for the subsequent contests. The National Science and Maths Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with APSA Bank and supported by Joy News, Go, Prudential Life Insurance, Airtel Tigo, GNPC, Dano Milk, Newmont Ghana, Puma Drinks, Academic City University College, Accra College of Medicine, Studio HD and YFM. My name is Thelma Ohinye J, your quiz mistress, and this is a primetime production. Thank you and see you soon. <laughs>